Parents, go to our website to download the follow along workbook to this video. Link in the description below. Cap. This is a cap. This man is putting his cap on. Yes, to protect his head from the sun. They're playing baseball. In some sports, they wear peaked caps. Do you know why? To protect his eyes from the sun. That's right. And what's this swimmer wearing? She's wearing a swimming cap. That's right. This is another kind of cap. What are these? These are plastic bottle caps. That's right. So many shapes and sizes and colors. What's happening here? This is a machine for putting caps on bottles. It's twisting the caps on. That's right. And then they get transported to shops where we can buy them. Let's learn how to say cap. K-A-P Cap K-A-P Cap K-A-P Cap K-A-P Cap K-A-P Cap K-A-P Cap Let's spell and write the word cap C A P Cap Let's trace it C A P Cap Trace it again Now let's write it Gap. This is a gap. This is a gap between two metal rods. There's a spark jumping between the gap. That's right, it's made by electricity. It's like what happens when lightning strikes. This is a road between two mountains. It's called a mountain pass. It's also got another name. Do you know what it is? A pass between two mountains. It's called a gap. A gap. That's right. This is a gap going on the ahead now. That's right. The sea made this gap. They're rowing the boats to the gap. This is Tower Bridge in London. There's boats going through it with, because of the gap and it's about to close. This girl has a gap in her teeth. Yes, that's right. It happens when you lose your baby teeth. But she'll grow adult teeth to close the gap. Let's learn how to say gap. G A P 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 gap. Let's spell and write the word gap. G A P Gap Let's trace it. G A P Gap Trace it again. Now, let's write it. Map This is a map. This is a map. It shows details of hills, rivers, towns. Do you know what this man is using it for? He's using the map to find a way to go. That's right, we use maps to figure out where we are and how to get where we want to go. Oh, what kind of map is this, do you think? This is a city tourist map. This is a kind of map called a globe. Yes, a globe is a map of the whole world shaped like the Earth. This is a map of the whole world, but it's not a globe, is it? This looks like a globe, but it's flat. 
Yes, you often find maps like this in a book. Do you know what a book of many maps is called? It's called an atlas. That's right, a book of maps is called an atlas. You can also see maps on smart devices like tablets and also on your phone. It's often easier to use than a paper map. Let's learn how to say map. M A P Map 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 Let's spell and write the word map M A P Map Let's trace it M A P Map Trace it again Now, let's write it. Nap. Taking a nap. What's she doing? She's putting a baby in her bed to get a nap. That's right. Babies need a lot of sleep, but so do adults. What's this lady doing? Having a nap. A car. Hammock. And it's called a nap when it's not the normal nighttime sleep, just a short sleep during the day. Is a man having a nap in the office? No one has a nap in the office. That's crazy. He's supposed to be working. Maybe just working too hard. People aren't the only ones who take naps, are they? Oh, dogs like a nap. This one looks very comfortable. Oh, cats like a nap. Yes, looks like it's really enjoying its nap, isn't it? Yeah. Let's learn how to say nap. N A P nap. N A P nap. N A P nap. N A P nap. N Nap. N A P nap. Let's spell and write the word nap. N A P nap. Let's trace it. N A P nap. Trace it again. Now let's write it. Tap. This is a tap. Remember to wash your hands. Bathroom tap. That's right. In America, they call it a faucet. And what's it for? Washing your hands because of the germs from the toilet. And what else do you use it for? Washing your feet. This is a kitchen tap. And what do you use it for? Washing your hands. And what else? Washing up. We also use it for washing fruits and vegetables. So this is a garden tap, a woman is washing her feet. And what else do you use a garden tap for? Watering the garden. Hmm, what's going on here? She is tapping her friend's shoulder to get attention. Yes, tapping someone's shoulder, that's another kind of tap. This man is dancing, but well, what kind of dancing is it? Oh, he's dancing, it's called tap dancing. Tap dancing, that's right. Yet another kind of tap. Would you like to do tap dancing? Yeah! 
Let's learn how to say tap. T A P 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 tap. Let's spell and write the word tap. T A P tap. Let's trace it. T A P tap. Trace it again. Now let's write it. 